right, this is SAT percents B, um, here's a video of, just kind of explaining my work. Mr. Kraft has a sheet with his work on it, so a lot of times him and I have kind of a different way, or like one of us will think of something just a little different than the other, and it might be worth watching both. Like if my way doesn't make sense, maybe go watch his, if his way doesn't make sense, maybe watch mine. But up to you, it's kind of nice to have two options. Um... Number one here is asking about a percent change. So what percent did we increase? That's basically saying what percents did it change? So this is the percent change equals change divided by original. So put the amount that it changed here. So that's just subtracting these two. And then the original amount. So that's what it used to be. Divide those and you get like 0.054. And then if you turn that into a percent, there we are. Number um, two, this one's tricky. This one took me a few minutes to... Kind of make sure I had everything in the right spot. So $8 per hour for the first 10 hours. So that got me 80. But then reading through further, he only saved 90% of his earnings for each week. So of that 80 bucks, he sold, he saved 90% of it, which means 72. So he's got $72. He makes, he saves $9 a week. So this is a little tricky here. He saves 90% of that $10. So he saves $9. And he's trying to get to 270. So I set up this little equation, and this is certainly not the only way to do it, uh, but just what made sense to me. But that doesn't mean it's the only way at all. So then this is 9x equals, let's see, 198, and if you divide that, you get 22. Uh, number three is not too bad, you're just multiplying those, so 15% of 8, of means times, so this would be 0.15 no, times 8, so that's 1.2, and they put that there, they're trying to trick you, but they they kind of helped you out here by underlining the word minutes. So it's 1.2 hours. You got to figure out how many minutes that is. So just multiply it by 60. Uh, number four, this is a trickier one also. Some of these percent ones can get, get rough. Like they seem like they're not too bad, but when you get into it, you got to make a few choices that if you go the wrong way, it can easily lead you down the wrong path. So what I did in this one is called X. Um, the total number of people that were invited to join the committee. And it made sense to me to set up an algebra equation. Again, it's not the only way to do it. I know Mr. Kraft did it a little bit of a different way. Um, but I said 15% of the total people, so 0.15 times x, 15% of total people are parents. 45% of the total people, so 40.45 times x are teachers, and 25% are administrators, and then i got to add these other six people. And when I add up all of these four, there's kind of four sections, I get X. I get the total number of people. Um, and this is the hard part, I think, is getting this equation. And then you can combine like terms, simplify, and solve. Um, and even then, you get down to here, and i got 40, and I'm like, oh, cool, the answer's 40, but then it's how many more teachers were invited to join the school and district administration. So then I got to take an extra step. Well, there were 20% more teachers invited. So I did 20% of 40, and that got me eight. So there's, there's two or three spots you can kind of get, get left behind there. That's a tough one. Uh, number six. If they reduce by D percent, what is the value of D? So there, again, they're basically saying, what's the percent change? They're saying, what percent? So they're asking if I D. Did we reduce by? That's a percent change. So we take the amount that they changed, and that is the 2,325, because that's the reduction, that's the change, divided by the original. Um, and this is 0.15, which makes it 15%. Number seven, what's the percent increase from 2,000 to 2,003? So the first thing I did down here was, so this is the number of years since 1985. And this is 15 years, and this is 18 years. So I'm looking here and here on my chart. And I noticed they went up. It went up about 10. Kind of looks like a little bit less than 10 to me, but the change is 10, let's say. Uh, maybe it looks like 8, but it's not going to matter when we get to the answer. And the original amount is 100. If I divide that with those, I get 0 0.10. And if you thought it was a little less, you know, maybe you say it's 8 over 100, but that's 0 0.08, which is 8%. And then this is, is still your best answer. Number eight's another one that I, I kind of battled with here. Um, 
So they say, what percent of the total cost is the cost of the movers? So you got two costs here. The truck, which is $40 a day. And you're only having this truck for one day. Plus 75 per mile driven. And they're going to drive 40 miles. So if you figure all that out, the truck costs 75 the Two movers from three to eight. So you're paying for... You're paying $15 an hour for four hours, two people. That's 120 bucks. And then the what percent of the total cost is the movers. So you're doing movers divided by total, which is what I'm doing there. And if you divide that, you get 0.63. Number nine, again, these are, these are not the easiest. I think percents are pretty tricky, man. So we got um, our dollars. Store charge Lewis regular price for the first movie. Man, our dollars. They gave him a 25% discount on the second movie, which means he only paid 75% of the original. So if this first one was $100 for, for, for a movie, then the second one's only 75 because it's 25% off. And then after all of that, the two things he put together, he's got to pay tax. So then he's got to multiply by 1.08. And again, remember that multiplying by 1 keeps the original price, and then the 0.08 is like adding the tax. And then they're not even asking you to kind of get a, to get a number for the answer. They're saying put it into an expression, and, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, number 10. So, which of the following is the closest to percent increase? So that's percent change. So we're looking for the change divided by the original. The change, well, we started off with 25000 and ended up here, so we got the difference is that 4926 divided by the original, and that gets me 0.2 or 20%. Peace.